So today I'm gonna show you guys how to build the part one, which is the cinnamon roll. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Candy Perler Fairy. So I hope everyone's doing awesome because I'm feeling so much better that the weather is finally getting a little bit warmer. Spring is here, that means more flower to see. Um, you know, it gets warmer, which, you know, we can dress more like lighter clothes instead of the sweater, like big giant jacket. Um, so it's been so cold for the few past few months and you know, it's really hard to get motivated But I've been doing more patent design and model design um, So you can check out my Etsy store. I post a lot of patents there um, So you can also support my channel um, So by supporting my channel, you can also give me a thumbs up um, Like to my channel and share with your friends who also like to make 3d perlers or perler arts and if you're new to my channel make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss any new tutorial or just you know you don't have to always search for my name you can always go to you know on um, your channels that you're following you can look at my video at any time since i'm back to making tutorial as you can see today i'm gonna bring you the tutorial to build this one which is cinnamon roll sitting on the unicorn this is one of my favorite design. So this is like a modified design because I've seen something like this long time ago and I was a big fan of, you know, the cinnamon roll sitting on the unicorn. Um, I'm gonna show you why. So as you can see, this is the pillow with cinnamon roll, like sleeping with the unicorn. But on the back is actually cinnamon roll riding the unicorn. So when I bought this one, I already falling in love and I was like, oh my God, I want the plushie. And every time I see other product with this print, I also get them. But finally, yay, I found this one at the Sanrio giant size and then the smaller size, but I decided to get the big size. So which was really good, but I'm really happy about this one because like I said, you know, this is one of my favorite prints. So back to this, as you can see, um, this one is the big size. And then I make the small mini size. <laughs> I made the small mini size as well. It's, um, you can see it's detachable. And um, it can actually rock a little bit. If you iron the bottom, I haven't finished doing that, but it's supposed to rock. Here's the big size, as you can see, um, the cinema roll is detachable. Um, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to build the part one, which is the cinema roll, um, because this is easier version. So once you build this one, hopefully by that time we're ready for this one, because I'm, you know, my goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I hope you guys can help me by sharing my video. So when we reach 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to release part two to build this one. All right, it's not gonna take long, I, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you guys gonna help me, right? All right, so I, before we start our tutorial, I wanna show you two more designs that I have that I made recently is Kuromi. So one is sitting here with the heart and then the other one is like a little girl, like a maid standing up. So I wonder which guys, which one you guys like and which one you want to see in the future tutorial. So comment down below and let me Let's know. get started with our part one tutorial. Let's go. Alright, so let's get started with the head. So lay all your pieces just like this so that it's easier to put together. Alright, so this is going to be our connector today. So I'm going to start with the center piece. So this will be the center piece, okay? And then these two on the side, they're exactly the same. So one goes to the front and one goes to the back. So, and then you can see, I actually use like the yellow bead right here. So that, that means it's for um, the center piece. All right, so let's go like this, got this. All right, so I'm just gonna use these connector first to kind of connect them. You can always save it for later, but it's up to you. 
All right, but I like to do it right now. <laughs> yep. All right, so one more on the bottom is going to go like this. Yep. And then on the other side, it's going to go like this. All right, looking good. Okay, so we have two more connectors right here. It also has the yellow marker. So slide it through. So they should be even. Yeah, that looks good. So four on each side, same as this one right here. Yay, all right, so let's move on. We can start with the front. And then I'm gonna add this piece right here onto the top. So just be careful because it's very easy to break for these three beads in the front. It's a pretty easy project to do, this one. All right. That looks good. And we got one more with the face. Just like so. All right, that looks good. So let's see if we can add the side right here. So this one is just gonna slide it right here. Yeah. And then the other one also go under the ears and slide it through. So we do it right now, then we don't have to worry about later that it's hard to insert. All right, so let's go to the back and start with this piece. Yep, looks good. And just the same thing like the front, one by one. And this one a little bit careful. Yep. And then the last piece for the back. Yay, we got this. See, it's in a mural head. All right, let's go to this one from the bottom. So this one should be even front and back. Maybe open up a little bit. So yeah, try not to break the beads. And then two more on the top. So I think this one goes like this. Oh, we got like to fit it. Yeah, this way looks better. The gap is smaller. And then one more piece. We got the cinnamon roll head. All right, let's move on to the body. All right, so let's get started with the body. And um, this is going to be the connector with the center pieces. So I'm going to go with, let's go with this piece. So from here all the way in and I'm gonna add this piece onto the top and leaving um, right here just one beat okay and then we're gonna go this one to the back and then keep going with this one yep and then we got two more right here first one and then the last one to the back yep so this one looking good and then we're gonna add the side piece first so this would go first okay so this one is gonna be right here on this side yep so it's kind of keeping the pieces in place after you put this one you can feel it is like feeling stronger yeah okay so we're gonna add this one onto the top now yep looking good and then I'm gonna add the top piece first so this is gonna be the top piece right here 
Yay! All right, so I'm gonna add the bottom piece. So this would be, let me see. I think this one would be the bottom piece. So it's gonna go like here. Yep, looking good. So I always go like front and back. Okay, let's go to the back right here. So this would be right here. Yeah. And then it has this one. Oops. It has this one behind it. And then we have a little connector it goes right here. And it has the tail, but we're going to insert it later. And let's finish it and let's add the bottom and see how it looks. So the bottom, this is going to go like here. Oops. Oh, sorry. So this one's supposed to go this way. Yeah. And then this one will go to the bottom. Yay, just like so. And let's finish with the size. This one right here will go like this way. Yep. And then this little piece will go right here. All right. And then on the other side, the same thing. So this piece will go here. And then this one, closing it right here. All right, so this one will be the little like accessory, the bow tie. And then let's add the two feet right here. One and two. And going back to the back, adding the tail. All right, let's bring our head back right here and just insert it, it's pretty easy. Yay! As you can see, it has the bottom slot, so that is to insert the unicorn. Yay! So the unicorn is here. Like I said, we, I'm going to release the tutorial to build this one because this one is a little bit complicated. But I hope you can make this one now and then I'll release this tutorial for part 2 when I have 10,000 subscribers. So hopefully it will happen soon so we can all have this little cutie together. Alright, so if you make this one, um, tap me on Instagram for a special shout out if you like. And if you found my video useful, please give me a thumbs up and also share with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel, like, comment, and share. Thank you!